Hey everyone in MRAP land, this is Swami and I have got a quick COVID update. On the 27th of July, the CDC released some new recommendations on masking for vaccinated people. I want to break down where that information comes from. Let's start with things that we know to be true. There's a lot of disinformation out there. Number one is that masks work in reducing transmission. If I wear a mask, it protects you. If you wear a mask, it protects me. They do not increase carbon dioxide levels. They do not reduce oxygen levels. We know this all to be true. Number two is that the vaccines are highly effective. More than 90% reduction in severe cases and hospitalizations, and almost all the people in the United States who are dying from COVID are unvaccinated. So if you're vaccinated, you are highly protected. So where does this recommendation come from? Well, it comes from a couple of different things that we are seeing. One is that Delta has clearly taken hold in the US. Over 90% of cases, lots of counties where we're seeing substantial or high transmission. And so even if you're vaccinated, if you're surrounded by people who have COVID, it is more likely that you are going to develop symptomatic COVID or even to get an asymptomatic infection. So this is part of the reason for returning to those masking precautions. The other piece is in emerging data yet to be published, but emerging data telling us that cycle thresholds are low in people who are vaccinated but develop symptomatic COVID. Let's break that down a little bit. What's a cycle threshold? The lower the cycle threshold, the more virus that's present in that person. So a low cycle threshold means that there's lots of virus going on in that person that's being tested. So while breakthrough disease, and this is true disease, symptomatic disease, breakthrough disease in vaccinated people is uncommon. It is rare. When those cases are happening, they're having similar viral loads or amount of virus in their body to unvaccinated people who are developing this. And so we think that means that vaccinated people can spread. And that is another part of why this recommendation is there. And so the CDC rec is that if you're in an area of substantial or high transmission, you should start masking again indoors. And most of us now, or a lot of us now, are in those areas. We're in those areas with uh, substantial or high transmission. So it's time for us to go back to masking. And that's where this data comes from. Now we're gonna have more updates as more of that data gets published as we see it. We will come back to you with more of that information. But for right now, the take home message is that the reason we are returning to masking is because there's a low overall vaccination rate. There's a high prevalence of disease right now in many areas. It's all Delta variant. And in those vaccinated people who are getting breakthrough disease, they're symptomatic from COVID in spite of being vaccinated, they're having high viral loads, which means that they can potentially transmit to others. All right, that's all I've got for today. Stay safe out there.